we begin, since this is Aunt Bethany's 80th Christmas, I think she should lead us in the saying of grace. Oh, oh great. Uh, what, dear? Grace! Grace! She passed away 30 years ago. They want you to say grace. The blessing. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. All right, well, you may be able to relate to a family member like that. May is Better Speech and Hearing Month, and today we're learning more about the signs and symptoms associated with hearing loss and what you can do to get help. Joining us now is audiologist Dr. Mary Miller with Premier Hearing and Balance. Thank you for joining us on Great Hi, Day. Hi, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Of course. Um, so May is Better Speech and Hearing Month, and a lot of times the um, importance of hearing is recognized in children because it helps with speech development, which is why speech and hearing are always kind of tied together. Together. But what oftentimes, you know, you worry about children, you want to make sure they can hear, it's almost um, devastating if you, if you diagnose a child with hearing loss. But as people um, go on through their adult lives, that attention to hearing and hearing loss kind of gets lost in the mix. It becomes seemingly less important. Um, and so for somebody like me and my profession as an audiologist, we like to remind people that hearing at any age is just as important as it was at birth. So, um, so that's why um, May is coming around to um, kind of draw attention to that topic and remind us all that hearing is just as important as vision and, and your other senses. What are some signs that you may be losing your hearing? Well, that's interesting because hearing loss can easily be kind of disregarded. We can blame it on anything. Um, but when you're turning the TV up, when you're asking people to repeat, a lot of people will say, oh, it's because she mumbles, or it's just my wife refuses to look at me when she talks, um, when, when really we might should look at ourselves and, and think maybe it's a problem that we're having and not necessarily something they're doing. So when you're turning the TV up a little louder and people are complaining, um, when you're asking people to repeat, when you find you seem to be the only one lost in a group conversation, everybody else is following it pretty well, and you seem to be kind of catching bits and pieces, um, it's easy to blame that on environment, but you have to wonder why is everybody else having an easy time and, and you seem to be the only one struggling or struggling more than others. So sure. um, those are all signs that there might be something a little wrong um, with your hearing. Also ringing in the ears is actually a symptom of hearing loss. Um, you know, it's, it can be very distracting, it can be very disrupting, it can be sometimes frightening when your ears start ringing. Um, but usually it's a sign that there's some, some hearing loss there, some damage to the cochlea. And is there a difference between hearing loss and needing a hearing aid? Well, I have a lot of people that say, I'm not ready for a hearing aid yet. And I say, but, but you are. Because you've come to me because you have difficulty hearing. And that is what a hearing aid is for. Um, you know, we have new terms for that now. We call it assistive technology. We call it personal amplification. Because the term hearing aid seems to be a little um, taboo. You know, people associate it with old age um, or a disability. And it's, it's really just like eyeglasses. It's eyeglasses for your ears. Sure. So what's the difference between an audiologist and a hearing aid dispenser? Audiologists are trained more for hearing health care. So we have extensive um, educational backgrounds. So um, starting in 2007, it was required that audiologists actually attain a doctoral degree before they can practice. So if you graduated with your degree after 2007, it had to be a doctoral degree. Um, I do. I have my PhD. Um, from James Madison in Virginia, and um, what it does is that we go through extensive education on the anatomy of the system, on the ear itself, because what a lot of people don't realize is that your ear is not just about hearing, it's about your balance system as well, dizziness, um, you know, just maintaining a, a walking a straight line, maintaining sure. your upright position. So there's, there's, there's extensive training that goes into that. So audiologists are focused more on the diagnosis and management of hearing loss. Um, whereas hearing instrument specialists, hearing aid dispensers, um, it is, um, it is a, the sales side of it. So they are licensed to dispense hearing aids. 
um, a basic hearing test is given and then they can fit accordingly. So it's just a different, it's just a different approach. Um, our, our approach as an audiologist is to make sure that if medical management is needed, we can refer you on to those appropriate um, avenues. A hearing aid is not always the, the end all be all. So it's, it's less of a, a purchase, it's more of a, a process, it's more of a diagnostic um, assessment and of course then once that diagnosis is made we can move on to the management side which is where hearing aids come in as opposed to hearing instrument specialists hearing aid dispensers their job is to dispense the hearing aids so um, you will find some um, audiologists in different settings so you'll find that in more um, medical oriented settings. Of course, I have a private practice, so um, we work closely with ENTs in our area, closely with private pra with, with um, um, private practitioners, with primary care doctors, neurologists, cardiologists, anyone that's having, um, you know, anytime you have a heart problem, you have reduced blood flow, that can affect your hearing. So we get a lot of referrals from cardiologists. We get referrals from nephrologists, which are kidney specialists because the ear and the kidney are actually developed at the same time in utero. So a lot of patients that have kidney difficulties may also have ear or hearing difficulties. So, so it's more of the medical model. Um, and then of course we go over to the management side which would go into hearing aids. Wonderful, thank you so much for being here today. Absolutely, thank you for having us. So we do have a special for our Great Day viewers. I mentioned you saw this segment and get 50% off custom hearing protection. And for more information, you can head to premierhb.com or call 985-419-8080. You can also visit them at 16038 Doctors Boulevard in Hammond or at 3545 Highway 190 in Mandeville.